Welcome to the most ambitious guitar shootout of all time. No, I'm just kidding. We're not quite that serious around here on this channel, but I am going to be showing you five of the most popular guitars of all time, for real. The first is the Fender Tele. Then we got the Fender Strat, the Fender Jazzmaster, the Gretsch Penguin, and the Gibson Les Paul. Now I'm going to be showing you all five of these guitars in four different tone tests. Now, the first one is the bridge. The second one is going to be the bridge and the neck. With the Strat, it'll be the bridge and the middle pickup. Now, the third one will be the neck pickup. And then the fourth one will be these guitars in the bridge setting. But then we're going to kick on a Wampler Tumnus Overdrive to show you what they do with overdrive pedals and how they react to overdrive. Now, maybe you're watching this video and you are a Tele guy and you're thinking, man, let's see what the Strat really has to offer or the Jazzmaster. Maybe you're a praise and worship guitarist. Maybe you play acoustic and you're trying to jump into electric and like me, you've seen this crazy, all these things on uh, these forums on Facebook, these praise and worship forums and stuff where people are always joking about, will it P-dub? What's the best praise and worship guitar? So hopefully we can kind of clear some things up for you. In this shootout, it's not going to be like, hey, this is the ultimate winner. These are five completely unique guitars, and I'm just going to show you how different they are and in some ways how similar they can be. So we're going to be doing all this whole test on my Vox AC-15 with the greenbacks. And I'm going to flash across the screen here, a little video showing you some of the, the, uh, the knobs, the way I have it set up. Now, this amp is set like this, and it I'm not touching it at all through all of this whole video. So that amp is going to stay the same. So that variable, nothing's changing. Now, the guitar tone knobs, the volume knobs, all five of these guitars, they're pegged on the tone and volume knobs, and I'm not changing those either. So some of these, you might hear them get louder. You might hear some darker tones. You might hear some twangy tones, but that is hopefully that can show you just exactly how different the guitars are in the different pickup settings. I'm playing each one of these roughly two and a half or so inches above the bridge, so I'm not getting that real brassy metallic sound that you can, you know, any one of these guitars you could move that pick down closer to the bridge, it's going to be twangier. So, you, you know, always remember that all this is very subjective to how you play, how you set the amp, but for these tests, it's going to be a very cut and dry, some very generic stuff I'm going to be playing but they're going to be back to back to back kind of fast and just so you can really see the difference in these guitars but let's jump right into the first one which is the bridge pickup on all five of these So we can see exactly what the bridge pickup is all about on these guitars. Now, I think that's what really tells the story of a guitar is that bridge pickup. Because when you get to clicking up into the higher, like the into the neck pickup and stuff, it, it basically, on a lot of guitars, it just kind of muddies up your tone. And for a lot of the applications that I'm playing, whether it be at church or even with my band, I spend like 90% of my time on that bridge pickup. Now, the Tele, as you can see, has a still a very spanky, a very snappy sound on that middle position. I love that sound on Tele, and I think all, all of these positions serve a purpose for different kinds of music, whether it be blues or whatever. But I think the bridge tells the story of these guitars the best, because even on a bridge setting, you can kick that tone knob back and start getting into the same territory a lot of times of what the other pickups can do. And it is worth noting though that the 
strat, like for this next one I'm getting ready to show you, it has a little more tricks up its sleeve as far as that second and that fourth position. I mean, that five-way pickup selector, it, it's got more that, you know, it can do as far as tone-wise. The Jazzmaster's kind of like that too. You've got that mud switch. You can do some extra stuff with it. But let's check out the middle position on all these. <laughs> So we can see on that middle position there that these guitars have some very different tonal characteristics for sure. The the Gretsch got a lot darker, which by the way, the filter trons in that Gretsch, technically that is a humbucker. So there, it's a double wound, it's basically a humbucker. But they are wound in a way that makes them have a little bit closer to the single coil type of sounds they're a little bit cleaner a lit they have a little bit more of that cutting you know stuff that a single quill does and you can see that the telly has that spankiness that i was talking about i think it's excellent for funk and the strat you can see why people love that second position and i didn't show you but the fourth the hole around that middle section that at the strat does something that that the other guitars kind of don't don't really have the strat does its own thing for sure now the les paul obviously you can tell that with all of these settings it it wants to break up quicker than these other pickups you you can tell that it wants to it's warmer and just has a, a warm and fuzzy kind of feel all across the board it, it wants to just you know it wants to rock and roll basically and when you, when you start kicking different overdrives and stuff on which we'll see here in another one here in a minute but you you can see the les paul it just wants to rock basically but the jazz master as far as i am concerned it is the closest to the strat and not to say it's identical by any means but Mr. Leo Fender came out with the Tele in 51, then he came out with the Strat in 54, and then later the Jazzmaster in 58. And you can see that the Strat is kind of a step away from the Tele. I'm not going to necessarily say a step up from the Tele, because again, these are totally different beasts. But then the Jazzmaster, in the same way from the Strat, it's kind of closer to the, the Strat, but, but still, it's its own beast. Now, the pickups in the Jazzmaster, a lot of people confuse those with p90s they are not p90s they are just a more smashed version of a and, and they're wider you know the actual footprint the, the coil is wider than your average single coil i mean they look fat as you know a humbucker basically but it's just a big old single coil pickup and they are their own unique thing and they are kind of accredited to a lot of shoegaze and stuff over the years but they kind of have a characteristic they kind of stay pristine and clean even with distortion and stuff it's like you could still hear the notes cutting so the jazz master is definitely its own deal also but let's check out this next one this is the neck pickup on all of them So you can clearly see that that neck pickup is the muddiest on all of these. Now, obviously, the single coils still have a little bit more of a snappy feel to them than the humbuckers and the, the filter trons. But it's worth noting that this Vox is really it's set up for my tellies. And it's set up more for that sound because that's what I usually play live with my band. So if I were going to be using the Gretsch more on this amp, I would tweak these knobs a little differently. And it's also really worth noting that with any of these guitars, you can tweak an EQ pedal, tweak the amp, tweak some of the stuff, change the way you play, and really get them in the ballpark of all the other guitars. So to me, I really think that if you don't get nothing out of this video, I, I think one of the most important things of any of these guitars, and with you choosing a, a guitar, is 
how does it feel in your hands? Do you like the neck profile? Do you like the height of the strings from the body? Do you like the way it sets on your lap or hangs on your shoulder? Do you like the beefiness of a Les Paul? Do you like the lightness of a Tele? And just for the record, the Tele is very light. That's the lightest guitar of all of these. And the Les Paul, is, it's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy axe. But let's check out this very last one. I'm going to play some stuff on the bridge, pick up, and then I'm going to kick on the Wampler Tumnus Overdrive so you can see just exactly how each one of these guitars on the bridge pickup handles an overdrive. <laughs> Obviously, the Les Paul is the most extreme of all these. It wants to get loud and it wants to crank out some rock. But that's not to say that the Tele or any of these other guitars can't kind of do that too if you simply crank up that gain knob on that, that overdrive pedal. So I just want you guys to know that I tried to play each one of these guitars the same way, pick them the same amount of, you know, attack the, the way I hit the strings but when you're holding these guitars they feel completely different and that's the real difference in these guitars you might say hey man I really 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 love the feel of a strap but I want the HSS setup I want that humbucker sound and that that different positions where you can hit that up and that four and get that double single coil out of phase thing you know that, that might be more of your deal so all of this stuff is extremely subjective to what kind of pickups you have in which guitar. You can throw those filter trons out of my Penguin into that telly and blindfold me and let someone play it. I would probably more than likely not even know that that wasn't my Gretsch being played. And that's how similar some of this stuff is. I, th I think that the pickups are like 80% of it, if not more, of what you're hearing. But the most important part of any of these, I think, is the way these guitars feel. So when you're picking a guitar, if you're watching this video trying to choose, you you need to just pick something that, you know, if you can go to a guitar store and try to actually hold some of these guitars and just say, hey man, that one speaks to me, this one just feels right. You can always swap pickups and stuff. Now me personally, I'm kind of a purist. I like to if I want to play Jazz Master, I want to play a Jazz Mastery Jazz Master. I, all, the, all the goods, the bads, and the uglies of the Jazz Master. The, the goofy bridge that makes noises. I want the Jazz Master sound. If I want to play a telly, I want the telly sound. I want those telly pickups. So that, that's me. I personally love all of these flavors. And just like when you go to a restaurant, one day you might want a T-bone steak. You might want to go back to that same restaurant and maybe eat a chicken sandwich one day I don't know but these are just completely different beasts and they make me want to approach them totally differently and they keep my guitar playing fresh but hopefully this video could at least give you a glimpse as to just what is the selling point of some of these guitars and what is the differences in them I'll, I'll say right out the jazz master is heavier in the hand than the strat and the telly it almost feels like a small scale bass and is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. You tell me. It, it, it has a good feel to it. The neck is beefy. It, it's different. The Strat feels slimmer. The Tele feels a lot lighter. They, they all just have a very different and unique feel. But if you have enjoyed this video, if this has given you any kind of 
glimpse into the next guitar you're going to get or the guitar you're never going to get just let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite or if you're like me you just you don't really have a favorite you just like guitars and like playing different guitars just let me know in the comments what you guys think and hit that like button and consider subscribing if you enjoy stuff like this we'll see you next time